Hey there, I'm going to show you a few tricks with the Behringer BCF 2000 and Logic Pro. So, uh, what you have to do uh, if you want to do this is you update this thing to version 1.10 and when you start it um, you hold this key here, that's the third one from the left uh, you just hold the key while powering it on. And this is going to put it into LC mode, that's for uh, logic control. And then you can basically use the thing as a logic control. So now it kind of messed up, so I have to start again. It's LC. Okay, that's my bad. Um, I guess you need to have it on when you start Logic, else it's gonna do some weird things and Logic's not gonna see it. They have to communicate in some way, I guess. S or not. So, uh, if it doesn't respond as it's supposed to, you can go into the preferences, see here, and go on Rebuild Defaults. That usually works, in this case it didn't. Uh, let's turn it off. Uh, now it's gonna say this mean little chat box. Let's turn it on again. There we go, now we're in pan mode. Uh, that's the default mode. So what you do is you have your mixer and you have the faders here controlling the faders there and the knobs on the top control uh, your pans you can even press them and it's gonna reset the pan as you can see um, maybe I show you where you set up the thing for the control unit you go into preferences uh, control surfaces and setup I have this little window and now I have a few other things here. I have my Fire One as my Mackie control. And this is just so I have the little jog wheel and the keys here working. And then I have this uh, fairy port. That's this little gizmo here. Which I like because it has like illuminated buttons for everything. And then I have my logic control. Uh, you're not gonna have it by default, so what you do is you go on new, uh, install, then you have this new window, and you just select this one. This is Mackie Designs logic control, logic control. Then you don't hit scan, you hit add. And this is gonna add your logic control on here. Now, um, you're gonna see it actually says BCF2000 here. It's in logic control mode. You can give it a color. I gave it blue because uh, the actual hardware is blue. And oops, usually you would set your EQ with your mouse. But what you can do here is you press this key right here and the knob on the right now it turns into FG that's frequency graphic I guess and it opens up the EQ plugin and now you can control your EQ um, with your faders so let's put on solo, you can hear my kick drum here this does frequency and the knobs do the no, the frequency and this one does gain there you go so you can turn it on you can reset the frequency if you want uh, you can turn the bands on and off with the keys here and you can still select your channels so here's your channel select buttons uh, channel 1 is my kick uh, channel 2 is my base, I like having those next to each other, and 
the bad thing is if you are still in this uh, FG mode, you're not going to see um, the EQ update. The only thing you're going to see is uh, your failures update. So you see the EQ for all those channels. Uh, this is my snare, this is my bass, this is my kick. And what you need to look at is this little preview here. So I go to my uh, bass channel and I can edit the EQ. And um, it's also only showing the topmost EQ. So what you're sending is not this uh, oopsie, channel EQ on the bottom but always the one on top, so you're setting the one that's uh, previewed in that little window. Now, uh, if you want to go back to the pan mode, you just hit this one here, and it's back to pan mode, so you can control your faders and your pans.